Travel gives us a sense of freedom, a sense of adventure. But there's something much larger it can give if you travel to the right places. You get a perspective shift when you see how others live. Not just the differences in culture, but the differences in comfort, social constructs and happiness. We see the world every day, through our television and through our smartphone screens. But the true impact is to see these places for yourself. It's a perspective which only travel can give. I've had a few perspective changes through travel, and this, this was one of those times. The cruise was luxurious, far from the discomfort of my first big perspective change, which was the post-war corruption and poverty throughout Cambodia. It had been years since then, and now we mostly travelled in style. Usually the islands you visit on a cruise are paradise, and this one was too, but it was the people of this place that truly made an impact on this trip. The people of Kirawina. As we go through, I can show you the tobacco that we plant in the garden. A man named Joseph met us on the beach and offered to take us to his village. We met his wife and his kids who all wore traditional garb. His village was small, made up of huts and gardens. The families on this island have no contemporary technology at all. No phones and no internet. They grow their own vegetables, fish in the sea, and trade with other tribes in their own currency which is made from dried coconut leaves. Nutritionists from around the world often travel here to study their diet, which is considered one of the healthiest on the planet. Uh, we smoke. This, yeah. this is uh... The local tobacco, tobacco we plant in the garden. Yeah. So you're drying out the, the tobacco out of the leaves? From the leaves. Yeah. 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 Wow. The fruit as we use as our seed. Okay. okay, next. The, uh, oh, the next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the uh, mustard. You can see the stains on our teeth. Yeah. And that's the sign of the mustard. Okay. And the beaten mustard. up pan okay. with the lime. We have chicken, dogs, pigs, and yeah. the cats. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, cats. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you love the cats? I yeah. love cats. Yeah, cats are good. <laughs> yeah. I love cats. <laughs> Joseph's people live in a matriarchy, where women hold the power and the eldest governs the laws. They worship pigs, believing they bring wealth. They grow tobacco, cannabis, and eat betel nut with mustard and lime, which is their local recreational drug. The only modern buildings are for their children to attend school where most of their stationery and textbooks are donated by tourists. Well, <laughs> you're right over here. You're right there. Yeah. In the world. It's for you. I'm it's for you. <laughs> you're welcome. You. You're welcome. <laughs> you. The freedom, the happiness, and the well-being of these people who live without the comforts that we take for granted is nothing short of extraordinary. Travel gives us a sense of freedom, a sense of adventure, but there's something much larger it can give if you travel to the right places. So what are you waiting for?